Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council, Module Cryptography and Section Cryptography Attacks. A cryptographic attack is a method for circumventing the security of a cryptographic system by finding a weakness in a code, cipher, cryptographic protocol, or key management scheme. This is also called as cryptanalysis. Here the sender encrypts the plain message and sends the cipher text over the public internet. And the receiver decrypts the cipher text and gets the message. This public exposure is where cryptographic attack occurs. Modern cryptography is based on mathematical theory and computer science practice. Cryptographic algorithms are designed around computational hardness assumptions making such algorithms hard to break in practice by any adversary. Cryptanalysis is the study of methods for obtaining the meaning of encrypted information without access to the key, normally which is required to do so. That is, it's the study of how to attack encryption algorithms or their implementations. These are some of the cryptography attacks. KPA, CPA, and we are going to know about this. Chosen plain text attack CPA. In this, attacker has access to plain text and public key. He wants to correlate and derive the private key, which assumes that the attacker can obtain the C4 text for arbitrary plain text. CPA is more powerful than KPA because attacker can obtain many pairs of plain text and C4 text instead of only one pair and therefore has more data for cryptanalysis. KPA is known plain text attack. This is an attack model for cryptanalysis where the attacker has access to both plain text called crib and its encrypted version cipher text. This can be used to reveal secret keys information. Cipher text only attack COA. In this model attacker is assumed to have access only to a set of cipher texts. While the attacker has no channel providing access to the plain text prior to the encryption, however, the attacker has some knowledge of the plain text and work with cipher text only. Chosen cipher text attack CCA. In this model, the attacker can gather information by obtaining the decryptions of the chosen cipher text. From these pieces of information, the attacker can attempt to recover the hidden secret key used for decryption. MITM, man in the middle attack. An attacker is in between the victim and the server. Attacker sits in between, uses a sniffer to watch the conversation to capture session, session cookie. There are several tools for making MITM attack. Attacker uses the tools after gaining access to LAN as these tools are efficient in LAN environments because they implement extra functionalities like ARP spoof capabilities that permit the interception of communication between the hosts easily. Side channel attack is based on the information gained from the physical implementation of a crypto system rather than brute force or other weaknesses in the algorithms. For example, timing information, power consumption, electromagnetic leaks or even sound can provide an extra source of information which can be exploited to break into the system. Some side channel attacks require technical knowledge of the internal operation of the system on which the cryptography is implemented. A brute force attack is a cryptanalytic attack is an attempt to decrypt any encrypted data. The attacker systematically checks all the possible passwords and passphrases until the correct one is found using guessing and dictionary attack. Brute force attacks are an application of brute force search or exhaustive search, which is a problem solving technique for systematically enumerating all the possible candidates for the solution and checking each one. Any weaknesses in an encryption system makes the task easier. Credential recycling is reusing the username and password combinations gathered in previous brute force attacks. Pigeon hole principle is the basis for birthday attacks. This is a probability model 
where 10 pigeons are put in 9 holes, at least one hole has more than one pigeon. The probability reaches 100% when the number of people reaches 366. The days in a year. However, 99.9% .9 probability is reached with just 70 people. Birthday problem is the probability of two out of some random people having the same birthdays based on pigeon hole principle. Birthday attack is a cryptographic attack uses the probability model to reduce the complexity of finding a collision for a hash function. Exploits the mathematics behind the birthday problem in probability theory. This attack can be used to abuse communication between two or more the attack depends on the higher likelihood of collisions found, random attack attempts, and a fixed degree of permutations, that is pigeon hole. With a birthday attack, it's possible to find the collision of a hash function. There is a general result that quantum computers can perform birthday attacks, thus breaking collision resistance. Thanks for watching.